Hey gone peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. Obviously on this episode we're going to be on the drag car. I do have some parts for the other stuff as well. I uh, really want to bring this out, give it a clean up to see exactly where I'm at. I'm actually starting to order parts for everything and everything's all starting to come in which is good so I'll have a few more episodes coming up very quickly. Obviously on the drag car, you guys know it's a 2JZ, um, built for 2000 horsepower. Um, now, grout filled block, no water running through the uh, block itself, obviously just through the head and uh, water to air intercooler. Um, yeah, it's just got all everything, the best of the best pretty much. Obviously it is a bit um, down on turbocharger. It's the old uh, GD55, it's not the GTX series. So it's the old school GT series. Uh, there's a couple of few old school stuff on there only because uh, I built this thing about six years ago. Um, but apart from that, um, it's all there and it just needs a few things to get running again. Uh, obviously the biggest thing on this thing is a clutch. I do need to get a clutch for it, but um, I can get it running. So that's what we're going to try to do. Obviously not on this episode, I want to get it running. Uh, I really want to go through the fuel system on this episode. As I said, bring it out, give it a clean, go over it, see what exactly it needs because I actually haven't even written a list down of what I need to get for it. Last time I was on this thing, I literally just ordered a, a few line, uh, a few fittings for it, and quickly chucked them on. So yeah, this episode we can um, yeah just bring it out, uh, give it a quick clean up, and um, go through exactly what it needs. So the last thing I brought for this 2J was a new Aeromotive uh, fuel rig. I uh, still haven't even put it all together. It's just all everything's all loose on it, so I need to actually put it all back up together and um, yeah, fit it up. So the reason why it is a rising rate only because it does have a mechanical fuel pump on these. I don't actually have the pump, I need to organize that as well. Um, so that's one thing I can measure up just to make sure what it is. It's a hex drive on the rear. And yeah, so we can bring it out, uh, just go through a couple of things just to make sure exactly what we need. Um, I really wanna get this running very soon. Uh, just like the roll races as well guys, but as I said, I'm bringing them out just getting everything organized and everything uh, All the parts what I need for these for so as I said, we're in the new place now So we've got things happening and uh, things are looking very good. So uh, Yeah, let's get it out. No time wasted guys and let's go through it. Let's do it <laughs>
All right, peeps. So, cars all clean, uh, ready to rock and roll. So, what exactly do we need to make this thing run? Uh, pretty much just needs fuel and oil. It is a dry sump system, so oil system needs to be hooked up. And yeah, it'll fire straight up. So, it does actually have a ECU in there. Um, I know I have got partnership with FuelTech. Uh, it's not running a fuel tech right now, but I really probably want to switch over to fuel tech. Uh, we'll work something out, see what we can come up with, and see obviously how money is going. Uh, but it will just save a lot of time because fuel tech will be able to get it running a lot better, a lot easier. Um, obviously, it was running with this ECU, old ECU in there, uh, but things obviously, as I said, the last you know, seven, eight years, everything's changed. So as I said, I do have some older technology in there, but the way it is, uh, it, it would work, no worries at all the way it is, but you know, new technology makes things obviously go a lot easier, starts a lot easier, and obviously you can find faults and problems a lot easier as well. So yeah, this is where we're at. Obviously you got fuel rig, I really need to hook this up now. Um, just hook it up. I've got some lines. Uh, we can probably get all the fuel system done. So this is running twin rails. Um, you got six injectors up top, six injectors on the bottom. Uh, so we're at 2000s up top and 2200s on the bottom. As I said, this runs just straight methanol. Uh, that's that was that was the biggest injectors back then, guys. So obviously now you've got um, you know 500 pounders. So you've got 5000 cc injectors these days now. Obviously. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just what, um, you know, advanced things are now. So, yeah, uh, I'm still cool with just running twin. That's fine with me. Um, obviously the pump will, cause the mechanical pump, it will keep up no worries at all. So what we need to do is find a location where I can put this and also hook up the rails. So yeah, um, I can't hook it up obviously to the pump because obviously I don't have the pump. But we need to get that organized as well and a couple other things. So let's have a quick look and see what we can do. Well, that is awesome. Have a look. We've got it all mounted up. All right, uh, I'll paint the bracket up black a bit later, but all sweet, comes up solid as. So three mil alloy, uh, tapped a uh, M8 going into the motor plate and obviously just smoothed out the bracket. So it's, um, yeah, nice there. So that has come up real nice. And as you can see, it's just a small, tiny little bit of uh, hose there. And that there is, so we'll just to show you how it works. So coming off the pump, the pump will be mounted on the bottom here off of this. There's a hex drive. I'll show you Ooh, if you can see in there guys, you sort of see the hex drive there. So that's where the fuel pump mounts off of. And there is obviously two on either, like one on either side. All right, so that what's gonna happen there is it will then one of them will come off and obviously come to the pump, but the other one will go to this one here on the front and then shoots in here. All right, it's gonna be then an angle, uh, a 90 degree on here and goes down to the bottom rail. Under here guys, there's a bottom rail there, shoots onto that one, then flows in and then pressurizes. All right, so then the whole thing's pressured so this here will make sure that that there has, you know, 60, 70 PSI at all times. Uh, then whatever's left, all right, will come underneath. I've still got another one more fitting I need, guys, underneath here. All right, 
and then that one there will come around um, into the top of this one here so that there is the return line all right so the outs on the bottom there that's a dash 12 all right so big big dash 12 out that will go into the bottom of the pump here all right so it'll fit a dash 12 and then it'll pump out a dash 10 up to the top i might actually change it out to a dash 12 oh, it's not loose now but um yeah i might change that out to a dash 12 on the top here all right once then 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 it feeds all dash 12 to the top and then it feeds them so as i said the these are going to be pretty much as you call them the main injectors and say so primaries and secondaries pretty much um i can have it running all the time uh we'll see how as i said if we go with with fuel tech we'll see how they want to set it up uh, obviously I've got them set up all the time right now. Uh, that's just how I've got it wired But obviously if we do go to that fuel tech, then we'll rewire it quickly um, There's a as I said, there's a couple of things there that I need to change and I want to change because obviously things are a lot easier um, Yeah, I'll just go through a couple of things with you of the build and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So obviously uh, 2JZ all right 2JZ grout field block water only runs through the head not through the block all right it's all cement it's all cement there um gd55 turbocharger uh hyper tune manifold double railed all right this is before they had um hyper tune did the doubles all right so one's up top and one's on the bottom okay this is a pretty much a pro mod how they do them so this is hard lined all right, so there's no cable on this because it's a return. I'll show you that inside in a second, guys. Okay, um, fuel cell, ice box. Okay, precision, uh, I think it was a 2500 horsepower intercooler. All right, so it's the big boy. All right, they do make one bigger, I think, but um, that this is more than plenty enough to cool this thing down. Uh, dry sump over here guys you can see on the bottom I did everything on here on, on the dry sump made the whole bottom sump myself made the tank myself it's a two-piece tank all right comes out that's all made by myself as well all these everything every world on here I've done all right even the five stage dry sump guys that's been done as well that was I made all the brackets up and everything like that you can get kits for everything but they all cost lots of money so um obviously uh deutsch connected through the firewall that's not 100 finished okay uh inside guys uh obviously everything's run by co2 um that's all the ecu and electronics over there okay uh my attempt at mill specking everything which everything's all really nice i'm really happy with everything but there's a few changes that i would love to make fuel tech you know what i'm talking about um strange master cylinder peeking over there liberty five speed air um all air shifting gearbox all right made up the whole top myself guys you guys did see that post up not long ago i made up everything all these actuators and um solenoids of um put everything together the worst thing was to control this bad boy because it goes simultaneous um shifting so that's what this box boxes for they have that has a box that um you can see in the video of how that works all right so we've got fire extinguisher co2 bottle up here all right first handle down here that one there is obviously fire extinguisher and the one up top as you can see from the twin all right that is the air powered um shoots all right, so you come around here, guys. So you got twin air chutes, okay. And obviously there's just no spring in them. Okay, they're both DJ safety chutes. Twin 12 foot chutes, I'm pretty sure they are. Um, wheelie bar, obviously, I forgot how long it is. Um, it's actually pretty decent long. All right, uh, uh, 15 by 10 and a half inch slicks on the rear, world wheels, 15 by four on the front or three and a half on the front, not sure. Uh, coilovers have all been 90 Um They all got rebuilt from, I forgot the people they do it. 
Uh, you got thermocouplers on each cylinder, so they can read exhaust gases on everything. Um, yeah, just everything, guys. Um, you got the ATI harmonic balancer there. Um, obviously, electric water pump. Um, yeah, CO2 boost controlled. Um, the wastegate on the intake pipe there for um, staging. Okay. Uh, these are things later on that we can change, but if not, this is actually a gas motorsports manifold though. It's probably the only thing I didn't. So yeah, five inch exhaust guys. All right, she's pretty big. Whole thing can go in there. All right. Um, removable doors. Okay, uh, lightweight. Everything's lightweight around here. Uh, you got funny car cage. Obviously that's for the strange brakes. All right, back and front brakes. Uh, removable steering wheel, obviously. It's got a um, Krontek um, center wired removable um, hub. That was expensive as well. So you can see the, the wires run through the center and out this side. Uh, wired everything up myself as well, guys. You can see everything. Kirky seat, Kirky um, uh, seat cover. Obviously I like them all in all my cars. Uh, still need to put the floor pan done. Uh, this is what I mean about the return. Okay, so it's got a safety return. So that's full throttle. And if it gets stuck, you can actually, your feet goes under it and you can actually pull it back. Um, that's just a thing that they rate. Uh, fire extinguisher, you can see that's all happening there, guys. Um, hand brake, that's for staging. Okay. And you can see that the brake there. So you, foot will be on clutch which i don't have right yet guys that's why it's not hooked up that's what i'm waiting for well saving up for foot will be right on clutch um because you only got two feet obviously so that will be one down there and one on the clutch then you stage it up that's with a brake so you'll have a hand free and one hand will be on that obviously um yeah so everything's all pretty sweet come to the back all right obviously twin shoots it will add parachutes, love it. All right, uh, this is before the lithium ion days. So big AGM, 16 volt battery. This car has no, this car has no alternator peeps. And right there we have a aired uh, battery cutoff. All right, so we have a bit, the manual one there. So we can cut it off, turn it on and off. So yeah, we got the big battery cut off there, guys. Um, and then this one here, this is a air actuator, obviously, as you can see. But as you can see from the line, it's the hard alley line. It actually runs off of the fire system. Okay, so that's the fire system line there. All right. And what that does is not only does it shoots everywhere inside the car, but at the exact same time, because it's pressurizing everywhere, comes out the front here spills everywhere, everywhere spills out the front spills everywhere goes around the side there goes spills on me all right and then also it actually comes back up at the end here and actually um engages well just dis makes it disengage uh the battery cutoff so shuts off the battery and um yeah so then things are safer so that was a thing i got from tim aim McCamus, so that was pretty sweet. Um, yeah, that's what it is. 2,000 horsepower, 2 JZ. All right, that's the, that's how big it is. All right, that's the hand. Okay, so yeah, big 60 mil wastegate, bleeding the boost. Um, yeah, everything's I've, I've done here. Yeah, so whatever you see, so any questions, let us know. All right, peeps, well, thanks very much for uh, watching the vid. Um, obviously, uh, that's just a small start in the process of getting this thing running. Um, as I said, I am in the part of just trying to get up, uh, put a piece of uh, all the list together. Uh, what exactly we need, a few lines and a few fittings. Um, fittings right now are just so hard to get it. So we, yeah. We've got a few a bit of a list there that we need to get so we can um, give an order uh i've only finally got back the half a boosters fitting so that's good but now we need some bigger ones for this thing so that's good though uh yeah we're just piecing and parcel of what exactly we need for this thing i don't want to spend all my savings on it 
as I have done over the years, but I really want to obviously keep these guys content um, with the updates, but also work on this in the background. As I said, this is a project, so uh, this this car, it's a car I'll never get rid of. So it doesn't matter if um, I get it done today, tomorrow, or you know, two years time. So, but uh, the quicker the better because I do want to race it. Uh, there's no re in Adelaide here to race it as such, but I still would love it to be running. That's all. But so yeah, uh, obviously thanks guys for watching the vids. Um, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please go do so. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. See you peeps.